Hey guys, it's Channing. Today I'm going to be showing you my September Battle of the Boxes Play by Sephora versus Ipsy. Um, I can't remember who won. I think last month they tied, if I'm not mistaken. So um, I'm going to do Play by Sephora first. If you don't know, both of these are $10 a month monthly, obviously $10 a month subscription boxes. Um, Ipsy I've been getting for years now. Sephora I've been getting this year for a few months. And um, the difference is Ipsy guarantees four to five deluxe size samples with at least one being full size. But usually with Ipsy, um, most of the products are full size, except this time. And for Sephora, they um, they don't really guarantee everything, but usually, well, all the ones I've gotten, we've gotten six deluxe or little samples, and at least one is always a fragrance, which I'm not really a fan of, but that seems to be Sephora's thing. And also keep in mind, um, even though I always say like, oh, Ipsy has great sample sizes, I try not to compare the sizes too much because, again, keep in mind, Sephora does have high, like, it's a store with high-end items. Yes, it would be great to get giant, like, sample sizes, but I know that that can be really costly, whereas Ipsy kind of has products from all over the board, so they can get away with getting giving you bigger sample sizes, if that makes sense. So, Sephora... The um, theme this month is the Unbasic Basics, and there was a little card here. With every box, you get a little thing to take into your local Sephora, where they can give you tutorials on how to use these products, as well as you get 50 extra um, points for anything that you purchase. So I really like that because I've been going into Sephora more often lately because I go to the free Sephora makeup classes. If you guys don't know, Sephora has free makeup classes. I've gone to two so far. I have reviews on my blog. My blog's always listed down below, so just search like Sephora classes. And usually the classes correspond, like at least one of them correspond with what's in this box. Like the one that I was supposed to go on Sunday but I actually didn't make it was for like winged liner and one of the items in here is an eyeliner. So I think they kind of try to correspond it, which I think is really cool. So again, um, on basic basics. So you get, let me put this box on the floor, you get this little drawstring bag which has lipstick on it that says this is not just a lipstick. So we'll open it up and there is a lipstick in here so let's pull that out. And it's from the Sephora brand and it's their Rouge Brilliance Rouge Shine Lipstick. The packaging on this is super cute, like it's super little and sleek. And this is in the color, does it say? Um, I don't know, it just has like information about, oh, Love Spell, number 14. So, take off the top, looks like this. At first I was like, ooh, that's a pretty color. It kind of like, to me, looks like a dark mauve color, but unfortunately I'm not a fan of this color and I really don't like it. It's like super shiny, which is fine, but it's kind of like, I don't know how to explain it. It's too light for me. Here, I'll put it on. It doesn't really, I'm looking behind me in my mirror. It's too like light baby pink for me, I think. I like more dark nudes. It feels great on the lips. I might check this out in other colors, but honestly, my camera kind of washes me out. But honestly, I don't, I'm not a fan of this. It reminds me of like, it's got like a frosty hint to it, which I know is kind of in right now, but I don't personally like it. It reminds me, I'm looking at myself, of like, play makeup like when you're a kid I don't know it doesn't do anything for me I don't like this color but I do think this is a great sample size I think they did send out other colors so let me know what color you got but I'm not I like this formula I'm just not a fan of the color let's wipe that off before I get it all over myself let's wipe off my lips so I don't look like a crazy person because I don't like that color okay next this is the fragrance and it is from Atelier Cologne which we actually got in my first one um, a fragrance from them, which was Orange Blossom, I think. And this one is Sud Magnolia. And it doesn't have a spray top, which I don't like. I like the little samples with the spray tops. This definitely smells very florally, but like fresh floral. It has kind of more of an alcohol scent. And I don't know if that's just because I'm straight smelling it, but it's definitely a more mature scent, but it's got a sweet side to it, if any of that makes sense. Um, it smells okay. I don't think I'd be buying it, but it's not bad. It's not the mo the worst one we've gotten in a play by Sephora. Next from Ole Henriksen, we just got this little baby sheer transformation facial cream. I actually got, I don't know if it was full size or like, it was way bigger than this in an influencer box I got to try out and I actually fell in love with it. 
I love it because it's super like hydrating and lightweight and it's good for all skin types, which is great because I have oily skin. So sometimes if I get things that are too moisturizing, it makes me like really greasy. It makes my face feel heavy, but I love this stuff. Like it's really expensive. So I don't think I'll ever purchase the full size, but I was very excited to see this, even though I had already tried it before from something else, but obviously Sephora doesn't know that. And um, it feels really great on my skin at night and I really enjoy it. Oh, I forgot to say, I noticed this month the first time Sephora sent out two different play by Sephora's depending on your, like, I think we filled out a profile, I think, depending on your needs. So some people might have gotten different items than me. Um, anyway, next I got a sample of the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Just Clear Brow Mascara. Um, this is cool. I've never tried Anastasia's brow products. Actually, I think I have a pencil sample from them, but I can't remember where that went. But I wish, like, Anastasia is known for her brow products. Obviously, this is a clear gel, but I feel like I wish they would have sent out, like, a pencil or, like, a tinted one of these. Because I don't think I would spend, this is probably like 20 bucks on a clear brow gel. I mean, I feel like, personally, that they would all kind of work the same. It kind of smells like nail polish, which is weird. But who knows? I mean, my brows, like, they don't really get unruly, so but I do set them. So I will be using this. I just wish it was like a different brow product, especially from Anastasia. Even like a little thing of brow pomade would have been sweet because she's known for that. Next, from Living Proof, which is a great sample size, this is their Perfect Hair Day Nightcap Overnight Protector. I have not used this yet. I'm super excited to use it. You basically, It's basically a leave-in treatment that you can either apply damp or dry, and you put it in your hair at night, and it's it won't get on your like pillows or anything or leave any residue in your bedding, and you can either like wash it out in the morning or not wash it out. So I'm super excited to try this. Um, it doesn't really say what it's supposed to like do because this is obviously a sample. I'm sure it says in that booklet, but I'm sure it's just kind of like a deeper penetrating um, leave-in conditioner. But it smells great. I like Living Proof products. I have a lot of samples for them. I've never actually bought something full size. But this, like, I feel like I could get a lot of uses out of this. So I was very excited to see that, especially that size. The final thing in here is a little tattoo liner from Kat Von D and Trooper. I really enjoy this. Um, I read that this actually isn't a felt tip liner, which is crazy because it looks like it. It's actually a bunch of little bristles together formed into like this point. Is literally, if you guys haven't seen this or tried this, go into Sephora and test it. It like leaves the sharpest point. Like this eye, I think looks great today, and this eye I kind of messed up, so don't pay attention to that eye. But this is really hard. Not really hard, but it's harder to get used to especially if you're used to felt tip that's kind of like more firm where this like it's very it's like a paintbrush it's very soft and flowy but I really like this I love the little tip it's really great at getting your point like you're getting your point on point so and it's the formula super black and it lasts all day so that is my play by Sephora so now let's get into Ipsy so we pull that out I think we got yeah we got five items this month Okay, so the box, well, the theme bag, too many things going on. Okay, the theme this month is Glamazon, and the bag this month is just this, like, deep charcoal gold and white with some ladies dancing on it, and they actually spell out Ipsy, if you guys can see, which is fun. So I think, like, this reminds me of the Great Gatsby, so I like it. So the first item in here actually didn't fit in my bag, and it's just a brush from Coastal Scents. It's one of their bamboo um, eyeshadow brushes. So this is the only full size item this month, which I'll get to at the end on why we'll talk about at the end. But this feels really nice. I know Coastal Scents is super affordable, but this brush feels great. It's kind of, it looks like that. This would be good for packing on shadow and kind of getting into that outer crease because it is a little bit like tapered and slim, if that makes sense. But I love like bamboo handles and I know that that's more envi environmentally friendly than um, plastic handles. So let's get into the bag. So the first thing in here, I was super excited because Ipsy, they um, do like sneak peeks, that's what they're known for. So they'll do a sneak peek of like three, usually about three items that um, out of those, everybody's gonna get like one of those, if that makes sense. And um, the item that I wanted was actually this, and this is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Gloss. If you guys can see, it's kind of got like, it's clear obviously, but there's a little bit of a duo chrome in it. And this is supposed to be super like plumping. It says 97% of people saw 
plump and it's super moisturizing. It smell. I'm not a fan of the smell. I don't know what it smells like, but it reminds me of like, kind of smells like medicine. I'm not a fan of the smell, honestly, but I think, oh, did I show you the cap? It's super pretty. It's like super detailed. I love this stuff. It is moisturizing. Like you'd think something like plumping would like dry up your lips. No, this is super moisturizing and it does make your lips look plumper. I'll put it on right now just so you guys can see. Obviously when you put something shiny on your lips, it's going to look plumper because of the like light reflecting is automatically going to make something look fuller and plumper. But I definitely think that this makes an improvement. Um, I like to put this on like whether I'm about to put on lipstick that way my lips are plumper or just like I put it in the morning so like all morning my lips kind of get more plump I saw a couple girls I won't mention they're pretty popular um do they got this they put it on and they were like screaming in pain like oh my god it burns it tingles and honestly like it's tingling now but it's I don't know like to me it's not it does not hurt at all it goes away pretty quickly and it like it's like on a scale of 1 to 10, it's probably tingling versus like a normal gloss, like at a 2 or a 3. Like I feel tingle, but it's not painful. So I don't know if, I mean, I think this works, but I don't know if like mine doesn't tingle as bad as other ones. But let me know down below if you got this and if yours tingles pretty bad. Because I saw a lot of people reviewing it saying it like hurts, but like I don't think it hurts at all. But I don't know. But I really like this. I've been wearing it every day since I got it. Again, whether on its own or under lipsticks. And I feel like it works. And bonus, it's super moisturizing. And it's pretty. Next is from Amy. And it's a sample of the Naturally Kind Deep Pore Exfoliating Polish. Um, and this has skin-friendly natural extracts. And the exfoliation is done by... What was it done by? Oh, rice grains. So super natural it smells like oh, what did they say mango and oranges so it smells really tropical i honestly i'm not a fan of this because i use this on my chest and back because i use something different on my face and it's really abrasive like if you guys have ever tried saint ives apricot scrub you know that stuff's pretty abrasive this is even more abrasive like i feel like if i use this on my face especially if, for someone who has sensitive skin like this is super abrasive and I usually like something like really exfoliating but I like the things that are bad for the environment the little beads that are like rounded and I think they're becoming illegal and I get that this is like natural and probably better it's obviously better for the environment but I like exfoliator beads the ones that are like smooth that they get the job done because I feel like this scratches my skin like I don't know let me know if you got this but again like if you've tried the St. Ives like that's pretty abrasive this is even worse I couldn't imagine using it on my face like I feel like especially if I had like super sensitive skin like some of you ladies I think it would just I don't know maybe I'll use it on my face to see but I just I like using it on my body but I I wouldn't use it on my face especially if you got it around your delicate eye area I just I don't know I just feel like that's really abrasive but it smells great and the final thing in here is this Chastique Mini Highlighting Stick in the color Luminescent. Now, I don't highlight. Any shine you see right now is because I have extremely oily skin. But if I ever do highlight, I like to highlight under my brow bone, which I just realized I didn't do today because I don't normally do it. So when I got this, I was like, ugh, a highlighter. I keep telling Ipsy don't send me highlighters because I have oily skin. I don't use them. So I wasn't too pleased that I got this, but I actually like this product. Um, it looks like that. It glides on like a dream and it blends out super great and it's the perfect size that I'm just gonna do right now I'm looking in a mirror I just put it under here and I kind of pat it out and um, it just gives me a nice lip from within glow and they it's not chunky it's not super shimmery it's just a nice glow um, I wouldn't use it on my face just because I already get it naturally but I love this under my brow bone and I'm actually pleasantly surprised see that's what I like about Ipsy I may not like getting highlighters but now I um, am addicted to this highlight and again it feels super great and when I was reading online about it it says they this is an adult highlighter highlighter where it's not like in your face see me from outer space which is fine a lot of people like that I personally don't especially since I don't wear like highlighter all that often. So this is a great, if you like something highlighted and glowy, and um, I don't think this is really that expensive. It comes in a bigger version, obviously, but again, this just glides on. Like I barely have to press it on my skin. So if you like, I think my two favorite things in here are that lip gloss and this. 
Um, if I had to re recommend one, I would recommend this just because I don't know this lip gloss if it actually hurts when you put it on. I don't want to re recommend something that hurts even though it's not doesn't hurt for me. But I think this is perfect. I think it comes in a little bit bigger of a stick. But I like the stick formula because it's great for traveling. You don't have to worry about liquids or a powder breaking or whatever. But again, like this glides on super well. Super glowy and the lip from within just like glow. I keep saying glow. So that is my Ipsy bag. Overall, I think... I don't know. I think it was a draw, but I'm going to give it to Sephora this month because Ipsy, I liked the products, but not the sizes. I'm very used to Ipsy now giving out at least two to three full size products in every bag. I've been getting spoiled these past few months, so I don't know if everybody has been getting that many in their Ipsy bags because we all get different bags. But um, obviously I like the variety and I like really love two of these products. And in my Sephora, I could do without the fragrance and I I wish this color was different, but again, um, I like that they sent this size, and I wish this was a different product, but I think Sephora definitely won, because this is a great sample size. Um, I don't know. I, I'm i like babbling now. Can you guys tell? It's like the end of the work day for me, but um, I'm going to give it to Sephora, because I expect way better from Ipsy, and I think that they could have sent out bigger sample sizes. So let me know down below what you guys got, what your favorite items that you got this month were, or if you don't get either one. I will have the links down below to sign up as well as my blog post while I will have little like detailed blurbs about all these as I use them just in case you're wondering like some of those things like how they work and I will also have links straight to those products as well as Ipsy which is really nice because they always have like coupon codes for the brands like Too Faced and A you don't have to be a subscriber to use those codes and B you don't have to use those codes on the items. So say like you're interested in a Too Faced product that code, you don't have to use it on this. You can use it on anything. You can use it on the chocolate bar palette. You can use it on melted lipsticks. You can use it on, I was trying to make sure that those were Too Faced products, but they are, So, which is really cool. So again, you can use those codes. You don't have to be a subscriber and you don't have to actually buy the products that I talk about, which is great. I should probably put that on my blog because I feel like um, not a lot of people know that, but tip, if you want to buy any of these branded things, but like if you want to check out the brands as I'm rambling more, you can check out those codes. So I'm going to stop rambling now. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you guys later.